Location audio is a beast to master. With all the unknown variables that you have to be prepared for, the gear can very easily get out of hand. Hello everybody, Josh here with Digetic Audio, and today I wanna to talk about location audio gear and what I use for high quality recordings. As always, any of the equipment I mention in this video will be linked in the description below. I have a Tascam DR60 Mark II linear PCM recorder. Uh, it has dual recording up to a 96 kilohertz, 24 bit WAV file. It can supply phantom power to both XLR inputs as well as two 3.5 millimeter TRS inputs. While I got this one second hand, I'll say I would buy it again tomorrow. Uh, the quiet preamp with the dual gain control and small footprint have made this a staple in all of my rigs. I coupled this with a Sennheiser MKE 600. It's a super cardioid self-powered shotgun microphone that I use for almost all of my recordings. It's low noise floor and crisp recording puts it high on my list of gear I've gotten to work with. With the benefit of using either self power or using phantom power from your recorder, it makes it a much more versatile and useful piece of gear. Along with the Sennheiser shotgun microphone, I have a Rode Video Mini Micro Shotgun Microphone. It's a lightweight, super cardioid microphone that connects with a 3.5 millimeter TRS cable directly to the recorder or camera. I'll use this as a reference mic on the camera if I'm recording to my Tascam with the Sennheiser shotgun microphone. The other reason I keep this around is there have been times where my audio has failed on my recorder and I have to use what's coming out of the camera. The fact that I had a second microphone on set meant that it saved my bacon at least once. The most important part of any location audio rig is the monitoring setup. If you don't know that you're getting quality audio, you probably aren't. I prefer to use a pair of Sony MDR7506 professional large diaphragm headphones. These have been a standard for me for audio monitoring on every rig I've worked on. Now, I'm not a camera channel but I am almost always working with cameras in some way while on location. My preferred camera is the Sony a7S body with a 28 to 70 millimeter Sony lens. It's light and versatile, and most importantly, the preamp in the camera is incredibly quiet. The Sennheiser MK600 is self-powered, which allows me to convert the XLR output to a three and a half millimeter TRS input into the camera. Sometimes while out on location, I'll use a single mic, usually the MKE 600 and being able to record to such a quiet preamp in the Sony a7s makes it an incredibly useful piece of gear to keep around. Finally, I have all the small bits uh, that you just kind of keep on hand, uh, two 20 foot mic cables, small mic stand, uh, mic mounts and adapters, dead cats, blimps, XLR to three and a half millimeter TRS cables, lots of batteries for my cameras and recording equipment, and plenty of memory cards. But one of the most important pieces of gear that I keep with me is my audio journal. Every piece of audio that I record goes in there and it allows me to look back as a reference as to what I've recorded and helps me when I'm sifting through audio in post trying to find something specific. I keep all this in a canvas bag made by Bagsmar. A camera bag gives me the perfect amount of space Space to keep all of my equipment in while still being able to easily carry it wherever I go. All this gear gets me good quality clean audio and that's only half the process. So this is a playlist on how to use all of the Adobe effects in Audition and this is a video on what the best studio monitors setup is for under a hundred dollars. 